guys, you're watching Everyday Struggle with Nadeska Academics and Wayno. And today, we're inviting back my favorite guest of 2019, this time with his wife. Please welcome Kevin Gates and Drika to the show. Hello. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Yo, this is history. It's like the first time we've <laughs> ever had a couple on Everyday Struggle. And our first guest of 2020. Mm -hmm. Hey. First guest of the decade. We're That's happy to up. share this moment with you guys. Our episodes last year, so we yeah. setting it off right. Yes, sir. <laughs> you guys do a lot of interviews together? No. No. <laughs> first time? No, not the first time, but I kind of like stay away from the interviews. I'm like behind the scenes work, so. She the boss. Yeah, I let Always. him take I, the stage. I think the only time I've ever seen you do like, it, it's not even really press, I think it was just kind of updating like people and fans on like his situation was when he was incarcerated. Right. Like, w w how was that as opposed to this where now you're actually with him like going through like press and shit like that? I mean, it's kind of like just back to the old days. We've been doing this for like over 12 years, so this is like normal. Right. Ooh. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> That's dope. And then, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I wouldn't be where I'm at in life if it wasn't for this woman. Mm. She's definitely held you down. Do you feel more comfortable no, when she, she's around she even on set? She hasn't held me down, Mr. Nadesh, because she has built me. She has built That's me. That's different. I she like built that. me. <laughs> I, I keep hearing that common theme she, from a lot of like you know men we've seen going through it, the highs and lows. Like we we see it with Gucci, like he gives a lot of praise to his wife, and of course you to see what you've been through in the last like three years, like the ups and downs, and you know like it feels like really a transformation of just where you are mentally and spiritually now. And both you and Gucci, I give credit to the, the woman in your life. Like w w what is it about that? Because again, I'm a single dude. I'm just out here. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about having a woman in your corner who's held you down for the years or someone you could like rely without, on without that a, helps better your character and better your situation? Without a strong woman in your corner, a man lacks stability. Mm. He's handicapped. I, and don't get it twisted. I just tried everything that you could try. I wanted to be the big player, all that. And my best friend sat there and like, go ahead, you're going to run yourself raggedy. Mm -hmm. She never pointed the finger at me and was like, stop doing this or else. She was like, I'm telling you, you, you killing yourself. You know, when you gonna stop running from yourself? Mm -hmm. And I just, like I say, I got tired of it. Being caught up in everything. Just, I done did everything you could think of. That's heavy. <laughs> the academics take notes. Right, so me and Wayne don't try to tell him this all the time, but he just laughs us out of the building. No, no, no. He might not see the vision just yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think he's doing better. From last time I was here. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm telling us. I was telling him before we started rolling. You see, Kevin is one of those people that even if he sees an inch of progress, he'll give you credit. These two motherfuckers right here, <laughs> they act like you get worse when you get better. So to be honest, when when they keep hitting you with that negativity <laughs> shit, I said, fuck it, I'm going to get worse. We hit him with the negative. <laughs> All of a sudden, we're the negative. We try to build you up every day. You don't, you don't take it. I'm, no, I'm, listen, listen, he... After our last, like, even conversation that we had on camera with Kevin, like, I remember, like, I, I actually listened so much. I hit him on Twitter. I was like, yo, you know, still thinking about some of the stuff you said. This is what's going on. I felt like that was deep. Y'all two niggas, man. Hey, Y'all take notes. I hit him back. I said, it start with you. It start with you. See, like, man. last time I was here, mm -hmm. I was going through the transitioning phase of self-accountability. Right. Yeah. And now... After going through the, account the accountability phase of it, mm -hmm. the transitional phase, I'm at a level of where I can grow now. I'm able to evolve. Yeah. I've gotten rid of my past traumas, where I'm getting rid of my past traumas. Right. I'm not living in those stigmatisms that I used to live in, those set ways. I'm, nah, I'm, relearn I, I'm no longer relearning. I'm just, now nah, I'm evolving now. Evolving. So I was fighting against it at first, mm -hmm. but now nah, I'm evolving. Does that affect, like, how you create your music too, though? Because you know, yes, certain sir. people just want certain calves. Like, you know, everybody wanted Jay to just only talk about drugs for a certain time. Even with me, I wanted Styles P. He was, I grew up on him talking about violence. But then he starts selling juices and, you know, doing all these other things. How does that affect you making music? Um, if you if that's what you like, you can go back and listen to the old gates. Exactly, right. You no, know, this the new gates. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A wise man will change, a fool will stay the same. If you mm. want to stay stuck, stay stuck. Mm -hmm. But I'm going this way. And true friends, they're going to support you throughout whatever. Absolutely. But even your growth. Is it important that you, you put your growth in the music? Because we do know some yes, like sir. some rappers who are like, yo, listen, well, my fans are used to this. They consider this the real whatever, whatever. I could have personal and self-growth outside of the music, but I'm going to still have the same type of content 
that really makes everything go. Well, I'm, I make reality rap, and it's based on my life and life experiences. Then you got to understand a lot of these dudes, they put on a hat. That's entertainment. Mm -hmm. They not really living like this, like through the airports in New York, wherever, just me and Drake by ourselves, no security. It's not a statement that we making. It's just that that's how we move. We living like this. We fully prepared mm -hmm. for whatever may come. Drika, how involved are you when Kevin's making music? Are you with him in the studio? Are you listening? Are you giving feedback? So I'm not in the studio with him, but he's around the house like all day, just thoughts, like lines, verses she will come proud to of me. me now. And I have to go <laughs> run and grab my phone so he can record it. He yeah. goes and lays it down. I get the email from the engineer, and then I'm like riding around listening to the songs. So I grab a I'm phone. not in the studio with him that much. Give me your phone, babe. Give it here. Give yeah. it here. Yeah. So I have like say all I'm these in control. Recordings. Now they say I got the big head. They trying <laughs> to steal my soul. You know I can't let them get there. Put 50 on the road. I'm just hoping that they get there. You know what I'm saying? Big cartel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I want? I want. Kev, you got a vision board? It's up here. All right. I, yeah, I was about to say, I would love to see what you, I would love to see what you write on no, the damn wall. I, all the time. I, anything I tell her I want to do, say, babe, this, oh, I'm this what I, babe, this is what I want to do, babe. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is how I'm gonna come on. I'm gonna be sitting on there with my legs crossed like our little partner from Argentina. I'm gonna be sitting in there, <laughs> and the next thing you know, she just make it happen. Mm -hmm. Babe, this how I want it to be. I'm gonna be in the back of that bit with a hoodie on, just and anything I tell her, she manifested. Mm -hmm. I got another picture with her on my shirt. Mm -hmm. They say manifest with her. Mm -hmm. Because she just, everything I, I give her, she just manifested for me. Mm. That's, That's beautiful. Heavy. So was she involved also in the, so Kevin just premiered a new video on Complex for Fatal Attraction. Mm -hmm. Very interesting video. Whose she, idea was this one? She wrote one? the treatment. Oh, really? That was me. Yes. Wow. So I get the song in the email. I'm like, damn, like this is a hot ass song. And it's all him. There's no writers, like nothing, no help what, whatsoever. Not that he needs it or even like. I do work with writers. You do, though. but not all the time. But this song was just mm. pure, just all Kevin. And I'm riding around. I'm like, damn, like this is our opportunity to do something like outside of what we've been doing for years, which is, you know, the typical rap videos in the hood and in the club. I'm like, no, we got to make this yeah. like a mini film. Mm. I'm terrified of voodoo, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I'm here with an open mind today, I'm willing Can to I learn. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Why are you afraid of it? Because I'm Grenadian and I grew up with a lot of sort of like nightmare stories about voodoo, but again, they could have just been lying to me. That's why I have questions for you today. I wanna I, know more. But can I ask you it, a question? Sure. Just ask you a question, like real talk. Like people that's Christian, mm -hmm. that read the Bible and they talk about the drinking of the blood and all of those things. <laughs> those things sound kind of horrific in nature also. That's big facts. That's why me and my mother do not get along when it comes to religion. I feel like it's all yeah. about presentation. See, we not religious, we spiritual mm -hmm. yeah. people. I would say we the spiritual. same. spiritual. Mm -hmm. So tell us about it. So in the video, you come under a voodoo spell. Well, let me, let me take it back a little further than that. <laughs> in the video, it, like you saw in the video, I was in a brothel with just, you know, I'm this... Allegedly, I'm this this boss in the city. I'm mafia material. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wink, wink. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to this to this brothel, dealing with these women, and it's like innocent in nature, seemingly. He feels like so it's seemingly, innocent. like men they go and deal with these women and think I'm just gonna give her some money and she gonna give me some good, hot, lovely relations. Right. You know, and it's just over with. But it's not because of the soul tie that you develop with this person. The soul tie. You know the soul ties. Really? Yeah, you know. soul ties. I was like, yeah, you soul. Like, I'm really like sizing on something because yeah. I don't know if that I'm I'm from Jamaica, so voodoo we call it obia, right? And That's and different. like, it, it's it's kind of almost the same. They got it's voodoo, some spirituality. Voodoo, they got hoodoo, and over there that's different. I was looking up the like I heard about Voodoo. I was looking up some information. Voodoo is voodoo. Right, but it was they said that it, they took like elements of Christianity to put. Into it is how they make. Or how they, they had push to, it? they had to make the colonizers feel mm. comfortable. Mm. Okay, but we always was powerful people, mm. always. Yeah, I remember last time you said, uh, you know, when we was talking about just Louisiana and like indigenous people and all of that, and like that, that really went viral by itself. Just that conversation you was having. Well, I never spoke about this, but like, should I say it? Go ahead, man. Right like, yes. you're yes. right now. Um, a lot of people it. identify with with Africa and things of that nature, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. But my grandfather hunted these lands right. in Native America, and my children are gonna hunt these lands. 
And I identify more with the indigenous people of America than I do with my roots from right. Africa. Because right. I have roots. I'm deeply rooted in Africa. Right. Also, I have roots there. But my roots are here. This is where I was raised. This is where I grew up in, in, in America. I didn't grow up over there. So right. I don't have a longing or a desire to go, that's not home for me. This is home. Right. Like I say, my grandfather stepped in these trenches. My mm -hmm. children gonna step in these trenches. Right. And that's just, that's just where we at with it right now. We going, we moving from Calabasas to go back and live on our farm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. My son, he want to be wild. My children, I want them to grow up in nature. Mm -hmm. I want them to know what it's like to be around Mother Earth, our Father Sky. I want them to be one with nature. I want them to know what that's like. Yeah, most kids don't get that anymore. So in this video, you're telling stories of your culture. Well, I would call, well, Louisiana, Louisiana. it's the voodoo capital of the United States. Mm -hmm. Haiti is the voodoo capital of the world. Mm -hmm. And voodoo was introduced during the slave trade. But spirituality, we as a people, we have always been spiritual people. Spiritual. So what prompted the, like, the treatment? Like, I mean, just listening to the song, like he's talking about somebody putting a woo on him. And so it automatically and brought me back real. to New Orleans. It's, it's very, you gotta believe that? Because my mom always said, like, like there's certain women I've been involved in, she, she always said, do you better not watch. Eat and she would be like, yo, they'll do the same type of shit. They'll, they'll put whatever, whatever in the food and, and we call it like, they'll catch you or whatever. I'm not gonna say, cause I don't wanna upset my ancestors and things of that nature, cause it's a lot you can't speak on, but I'll say this. You ever ate from somebody and got sick just eating from I call them? it food poisoning. It was the energy mm -mm. that they cooked yeah. the food with. That's why, like, when your wife happy and she make you a meal, it's going to be fulfilling to you. Right. If you hurt that woman and she cooked for you out of grief or she hurting or she cooked that food, the same energy that she was, that she was feeling is going to go in your food and then you, it's going to go in your body. So it's not that I'm picky. I'm just very vigilant when it comes to protecting my energy. Mm. It's very spiritual. It's not nothing physical. It's some people I don't shake their hands. I don't touch them. Right. And they just got to understand that I don't like your energy. It's repulsive. It's repelling me. So you're basically giving bad energy to these women who are in return giving bad energy mm. to you. Right? Mm. People, no, that's people. That's so, problem. So, well, so, well, you can use that. that like like no, sir. Right? No, sir. It's, 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 you can use it for bad. good or bad, but it's like this. It's vibrations. You got people that vibrate at low levels and you got people that vibrate at high levels. We don't believe in demons and things of that nature. We look yeah. at those as low vibrating entities. Hmm. Right. And people that would say they saw an angel, those are higher vibrating beings. Lower vibrating entities want to steal energy from you. They feed off of you. They're like leeches. Right. Higher vibrating entities, they want to give you energy and right. encourage you to do better in life. Do, do and that, feel, I can't say too much, but I'm very connected. I'm very heavy. Do, do you feel like at any point, like, and just going through life, like, maybe someone had voodoo, like, put a voodoo curse on you? or On like, me? Yeah. I've had it on me before. Uh, how, how do you recognize it? Like, what, what's at the point, and how do you reverse it? <laughs> That's easy. That's I mean, easy. It, but it's like a lot we can't really... <laughs> We I can't. mean, but you can exhibit behaviors and someone can tell you about it and you're like, yeah, you, can you can't even recall what you, you were doing. Right. Like, that's like you being was possessed. possessed. Wow. Like, for example, I had a bad week this week. I just called it bad luck. Like, like, is it something where you could kind of track it? Like, all right, these things that happen to me, someone, ha someone is, you know. Do you pay attention to yourself? Yeah. Because I could pay attention to a lot of the things that I did in the past and I was like, that's not me. Right. Mm. That's not me. That was alien behavior. Right. Wow. That was low vibrating entities that I allowed in my body. If you know, if you subscribe to the Muslim faith, you may call it a jinn. Yeah. If you subscribe to the Christianity, Christianity, you may call it a demon or a daemon or whatever. Whatever I call it, low vibrating entities. Hmm. That's interesting because I just had a conversation. My son been got in trouble this week, and I had a conversation with him and told him he wasn't being himself. Like I just had that conversation. <laughs> and it's real. Yeah. Like yeah. people that suffer with mental illness and things of that nature, be for real, man. Like alien behavior mostly comes from us taking med us taking prescribed medications and things of that nature. Yeah. So it, it, it's real. That's a question I want to ask too because I seen a I seen a young lady one time and um she was into like holistic medicine and everything and she was saying about how if your child has like a fever. And she just was like hugging them or holding them close to you. 
could like um, take their fever away. I can't, I'm wording it wrong. Yes, sir. But she was just saying like the energy that you're giving your child would take their fever down before you give them some Tylenol yes, or sir. Motrin or whatever the yep. case may be. Yes, sir. I That's agree. That's very true. Yeah. We, we have the power to heal ourselves. And that is the message that me and my wife, like that is our new message. We have the power to heal ourselves. Mm. All the answers are within. Uh, everything, everything lies within. <laughs> and I was, I used to be afraid to speak on spirituality because I was afraid how it would be received. Mm -hmm. But I've always been spiritual. Mm -hmm. And like, it's just so freeing to just be able to talk about it now. Yeah. How do you both, like, it feels like you both have like a joint connected spirituality where, where, where there's an understanding between both of you. She, she was a virgin. She was given to me yeah. by Almighty God. She was given to me. She was my gift. And every time I disrespect my gift, I slap God in the face. Mm -hmm. And I've slapped God in the face multiple times. And if she was able to just even forgive me for a lot of the bull, bullshit that I was doing, if she was able to forgive me for that, hey, hey, <laughs> but most grace is most merciful is forever grace and merciful. It's not easy to forgive people or to learn forgiveness. Did that come easy to you? I mean, it does because I have a different understanding of what's going on. Like, I'm not looking at it like, oh, mm. he's doing this to me. Mm. No, he's doing that to, to himself. To himself, mm. for real. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I've removed myself from the equation. Like, it's not me. Like, whatever he's doing is not it's not because of me. Like, it has right. nothing to do with me. You still get affected, though, right? Of course you get affected yeah, by it. But at the end of the me. day, like, I've stepped out of that. And it's like, no, this is going on with this person. This is his issues. Like, he's dealing with demons or whatever it is, you know? Damn, that's tough. I never that's thought about it from that. Very... Damn, I've been hurt right. my whole time. <laughs> right. like, like, you real, like... yourself and, yeah, you, you have to pull yourself out of that equation. You right. have extremely high vibrations. Super yeah, high. right? I wish yes. I could. I aspire. I aspire Adrian, to have, be that way. Like, have you, have you always been this way? Um, always. Or, always been this way? Yes. Always. <laughs> How, like how do you how did you get that kidding. mentality? Like how, man, this man, she it came started from, as a kid. Was, I, I could tell him. I could tell him. I got the answer. Okay. Not to cut him off. Go ahead. It was in your DNA. Mm. Yeah. My children love to pray because <laughs> when they was in my loins, I worshiped God. It was in her DNA. Somebody yeah. in her family, whoever it was, one of her grandmothers. Well, yeah. Your grand I ain't gonna speak on that. <laughs> but her, her grandmother, it's it just in her DNA. Yeah. I'm talking about they they built different over there in that family. I'm talking about they built like that. I ain't gonna front the way they talk it make me feel like I wanna see a doc about this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm gonna be honest, it's like I was it was like it, she I was possessed, undergoing possession. When she'd touch me, I'd be like, Don't touch me. Yeah, it's so crazy. I'm talking about like really I'm like, like And you really still stayed calm. calm. You could just yeah, still stay calm stayed and calm. take a step back. Yep. Like, because I was I was aware of what was going on. Waking up in the middle of the night, man, I'm killing dead people. Just all kind yeah. of silly shit. It's mm. crazy. What is that? Have you ever practiced voodoo? Have I practiced it? No, yeah. sir. But it's 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 in my family. It's heavy. Like I don't know if you, you can speak on, but like has there? I, I'm trying to think of like a situation how, when a curse or whatever might have been upon you, and how you figured it out, and how you I, even acted. Man, I always had curses and stuff and hexes placed upon me. This is my right. whole life. They always put that on me, cause I was. Did you know where it originated from? Like who or whatever? In my family, I know exactly who is the high priestess and all that in my family. I know all of these things, and I'm not going to speak on that, but I'll say this. The times that I was under a spiritual attack, I knew I was under spiritual attack, but I didn't want to admit it, all right. and, and I was fighting it. But once I admitted it and started accepting it, I don't have these problems no more. In your, in your previous shortcomings and, like, downfalls that were, like, either you know, you did things that may have gotten you in trouble. Like, do you attribute those moments, like those moments specifically to like things yes. affecting yes, how sir. you were moving? And... I was possessed. Yeah. I was trying to die. I was yeah. possessed. Such a beautiful life, such a beautiful soul. Look what you mean to the world. Why you wanna, why you wanna die, Kevin? Mm. I was possessed. I always feeling like I wasn't good enough. Those self-esteem, those are spirits. Yeah. Those are low vibrating spirits. I to get that up off of me. You, you, you know, I, I read one of your tweets from earlier this year, and, and it was basically saying to other people, like, if, 
if you're out there and you're having low self-esteem or whatever it is and you're contemplating suicide, please don't. I know the last time you came, you mentioned something that we kind of like skipped over real quick, but then I kept watching the interview. My tattoo that, artist murdered itself. And she could tell you, I got a lot of friends that just, hey, look, man, hey, I'm going to holler at y'all on the other side and smash their daughters and smash they self. Yeah. I know a lot of partners that didn't just gave up. Like, man, I'm going to holler at y'all on the other side. I'm gone, dick. You, you did mention, like, you, I remember with, with Wayne, you were like, yo, you had, like, a bullet wound or something. Like, yes, you had, sir. like, yeah. you, you never really explained where that came from and, and the whole situation around that. Cause it, it wasn't my time. I didn't want to be here anymore. Those I was the, up in rank. I'm talking about I had more money than probably anybody my age ever had, and I just, I wasn't happy. Mm. Yeah. I just was having that conversation yesterday with some young people about money and how much this chasing the bag idea they make makes them think that you'll just be so happy because you get money, and that's it's like... An, it's an illusion. Greedy people shit. always get, but they never have. Mm. Mm. Like, I like... That's, I, that's a, that's a greedy game, people right? always get, but they never have. And, like, me, I like fishing. I like going hunting with my bow and arrow. I like taking my children and teaching them things. I like playing with my wife. I like playing with my animals. I, like, I love those type of things that... Those are the things money came back. There's something spiritual about being in touch with nature. They laugh at me about it all the time, but it's it's really I'm serious, yo, it's don't different. Laugh. You, it's, I just say I want to swim Look at his shops, face, so. he's already so if you have a strong, I love nature. If you have a strong desire for nature, then you might be what Drika is, you might be yeah. Native American. I could be Kevin, indigenous don't Grenadian. Don't she on. She you on might, some take a selfie with a lion type of shit. You might be That's Native right. American and I, I hate to even be political, but like people be talking about like other races that was murdered and went through negative negativity mm -hmm. but the native people it was 400 million of us murdered right here 400 million we was murdered it's slaughtered true. our and women raped and a lot of indigenous women are still going missing in places like montana and so stuff like so that, i'm you know? just i'm just telling you like it's nothing to be ashamed of if you love nature that may be you may be native to this land this, this is a beautiful land. It definitely is spiritual. I mean, that moment after you hit that really dark point in your life, I'm sure that was also really difficult for you. Mm -hmm. Was that then a turning point? Is that when you started turning things around, or did you still go through a lot after that? Man, you want me to tell her? Go ahead. Man, I'm going to be honest. There's only one person I listen to, you know. And it just was, I just was ready to just say, fuck everything. I ain't want to be with my wife no more, all of that shit. I can't believe I'm talking about this. This was it's recently. It's so good, but this is this like was real recently. life. This real was shit. recently. Man, just, man, just fuck it. I'm done with it. Just, <laughs> bitch, leave. God going to give me something better. He's not, Kevin. <laughs> He's not. You lying to yourself. Right. But uh, my grandmother came to me. Maybe that's the only, get right. That's the only person that I hate to even talk like this, this gonna sound crazy. I can't even believe I'm saying this to you. My grandmother, yeah, me abuelita, like she came to me. What did she say? She told me to get right. Mm. She told me to get right, straighten up. And I was like, see, after she died, I was like, I don't, I, I don't think about her. I'm thugging, I don't, I don't think about her. I'm talking about once she came to me, Man, I, I was the first rapper in the game to ever put permanence in my mouth, all 32 teeth. I took all my golds and diamonds out of my mouth. I could hold them in a bag. She, my wife would tell yeah. you they heavy. Yeah. 22 karat gold with diamonds. I took all that out of my mouth. Like, I don't... Like my grandmother came to me. Mm. And it was realer than me and you sitting here. And anybody could say, hey, that's not true. Hey, well, how come I'm winning? <laughs> <laughs> It's, some of the stuff you're describing, like, you know, other people... Straight out of movie. Well, other people might interpret it, even I though... I can't believe I just said this on this fucking show. So she came when, when she knew that you needed her the most? Right. Man, my grandmother came to me. I'm gonna be honest. She saw. Yeah. My grandmother, she... that The only woman my grandmother ever accepted was her. And she saw my grandmother. Wait, what do you mean she so this is, she came it's to you in the spiritual field. In like in spirit. In like spirit, when you live in spirit. She came in spirit, but it was realer it was, than us sitting in here. <laughs> and I was just was at real. that point like, well, I'm just sick of it. I was like, fuck my rap career, fuck all this. Everything fake. Yeah. I'm raw, I'm gonna cut this shit fake. I'm sick of all this shit. Yeah. And I just was 
just battling with myself. And it just, like I say, hey. She came to you separately or like both together? together? No, it was together. And it was kind of like, she came to me and was like, and you better get on his ass too. Like, let him know, like, I'm, I'm for real. And I'm <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm, and I listen. Yeah. It was crazy. Big old, hey, big old chief. Okay, I've seen a lot of like, you know, different, it's been different times I've seen you over the years and I've seen I like, you know, different brothers follow your I'm lead. I'm scared. Right? I so I've seen different brothers follow your lead. This. So I want to know like, is with your team and certain people you do keep around you, have they been like accepting to you in this new path that you want? Well, we constantly evolving. Right. So we constantly going through a shedding phase and a gaining phase. I mean, uh -huh. right now you doing this. You may be over here with BWA next next month <laughs> or next week. Or, I'm just saying. Nah, I get what you said. Who knows? I, I mean, what you're saying. We're, right. we're always going through a shedding phase. Everybody's right. not meant to go to the next <clears throat> level. Right. Right. Everybody's not meant. Some mm -hmm. people, you got to leave them. Hey, I enjoyed the journey. Right. But we go no further. Mm. Mm. So all these things that you've gone through, personally, spiritually, yes, in the industry, are you able to help other artists through that? Like Rod Wave is someone you worked with, right? You were an EP on his album recently. Uh, you hear a lot of pain in his music as well. You know that so he looks much. up to you a lot. Are you able to talk to him, not just about music, but about also just dealing with things like the industry? I believe that the greatest teachers teach without teaching. And some lessons are better lived to be understood. Because I'm going to be honest with you. If you would have told me 10 years ago I would be sitting up here with y'all talking about what I'm talking about, I would have told y'all y'all was a motherfucking liar. <laughs> I'm still been. shocked that this came out my... <laughs> I like, I am can't believe I'm saying these things. Yeah. Like, people going to look at Kevin. He's crazy. Say what you want to. Yeah. I don't care. Say, like, some people going to say, like, Maybe you use the spirituality to deal with mental illness, whether it's depression Brother. or whatever. Man. Brother, <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth of the <laughs> truth. I met this woman when I was 17. She was a virgin. I had just got out of jail, and we met in March. I went back to jail for Christmas in front of her. I stabbed somebody. How many times at the movie theater? Uh, it was a lot. I don't remember. Jugged them. I'm talking about hitting them <laughs> with the blade, pushing them off. It's crazy. Come here. Like, real, you know, that type of time. Man, that woman stayed there. She wasn't in my life for nothing but like three, what, three months? Yeah, stayed there, ain't moved, stood there. I done had a lot of women in my life that come in my life soon as tough times call. They, pew, 2.2 seconds, they out of there. She's witnessed everything that I'm talking about to you. So if you say mental illness, yeah, I was a sick man. I was sick. I was sick. And right now we just healing our family and we healing our tribe and that's just what we doing, we healing. It's healing time right now for all of us. Right. Because imagine the emotional trauma that I put this woman through for her having to watch me go through all that. Leaving the house, coming home bloody. This ain't my blood. Mm. Hearing a conversation that I'm having in the side room. My daughter imitating gunshot noises. Boom, 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 boom. At what, two years old? Yes, I remember that. We sitting in the studio, it gets shot up. Man, this woman wasn't supposed to be going through that. My best friend get hit in the hand. They wasn't supposed to be going through this, but we was always protected. What brought us through all of these situations? I'm sitting in the Tahoe, brrrr, riddled in bullets. I never got hit one time. She pissed the baby out. I murdered that child. What protected us from all of that? We spiritual, we powerful people. You better know it's something greater than yourself. And I'm not fussing at you. I don't no, no, care, I'm glad you, brother. I, I'm, I'm telling you what people are going to say. Brother, I don't care what people are going to say because they're not me and they're not winning. I'm winning. Have you ever been, like, medicated or anything for, like, for dep what? depression or whatever? For what? I used to self-medicate <laughs> when I was drinking syrup, mm -hmm. when I was taking Adderall, when I was taking, then when I was taking drinking syrup, taking Adderall, Laura Taylor, all the different pills you could think of. I started, I, well, we started the pill trade in our oh section. Oh, God. We started that. Unfortunately, <laughs> if you wanted it, we can get it for cheap. My woman, baby, my <laughs> woman draw the whole pack back. She draw the pack back, it'll be that when she land. I'm a big sender, she a big driver. These other women, they talking. That's not y'all. It sounds good till it takes place. Mm. So, so what's the difference between self-medicating? Because a lot of rappers do that to drown out. The I, pain take, and I, heal. I take, I take, I take four ounces. I take four ounces 
yeah. of promethazine with codeine. When it was bar, when it was our pharma, I'm telling you the brands, it was bar, it was our pharma, it was activists, Wacart, when it was all of those things, <laughs> self-medicate me. That's how I was dealing with my depression. I was doing drugs. Whatever drug that I felt like would inoculate this, would numb me, I was doing it. The, the, so how did how did you get past like the drug? Cause we see like you know what happened with Juice World, the stuff and like. My grandmother came to me. Mm. That's the moment. I'm not sneaking and geeking right. no more. I didn't took I didn't took Adderalls before. Time my man, I need to focus. Mm. I'm drinking twelve espressos, taking Adderall, going to the gym, murdering myself, just to not deal with the with what what was going on. I don't even drink Pepsi's no more. I don't drink Pepsi's. I don't drink uh, coconut water, water, key lime water, lemon water. I only eat from the earth. Now, when I'm in Morocco, I I, I partake in, in meat if it's kosher or halal. Mm. I eat it like that. But other than that, I eat from the earth. I eat from the mother, from the great mother. Yo, I've never met mother anyone earth. like you guys in my life. It's really, you're really not. amazing, yo. It's one really of the most interesting <laughs> Yeah. <people. laughs> my, like, I already told you you're my favorite guest of 2019. I'm so glad you brought Drika with you today so we got to hear from her, too. It's amazing. Man, yo, she's the truth of the truth. Mm. Show me a woman cut like this. Every time I went to jail, she held my dick, and I mean, I ain't no, I'm talking about money on my books, everything just, I chose to, hey, look, look. Man, just go do what you gonna do, man. If you gonna have, man, look, if you gonna fuck another nigga, use a rubber. Man, that woman held that water, man. Solid. I'm not doing that. Solid. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. You're Even so when I pushed her away, I ain't going nowhere. So after everything you guys have been through together, you said now you're about to move back and have the farm. That's one of my life dreams. In Louisiana. Yes. Are you guys also building a family? You know There've been some rumors out here. Are we expecting? They know to show you how the internet is. I said she doesn't have a bun, bun in the, in the oven. oven. She got something in the slow cooker. She had drunk a lot of water. And my stomach was just And her stomach out. was sticking out. <laughs> I say, I say she ain't got nothing in the oven. She got something in the slow cooker. Oh, a bunch man. of food. That turns into a whole week of speculation. Like... But that's but that's cool. You clear it up. But that's cool. I don't owe anybody no explanation. <laughs> I said what I said, I meant that. She ain't got no hey, now if they didn't understand my lingo, when you go to court, the judge gonna tell you ignorance of the law is no excuse. <laughs> Hey, well, ignorance of the law is no excuse. <laughs> ignorance of the lingo is no excuse. I say she ain't got oh, nothing man. in the oven. She got something in the slow cooker. Right. right. You yeah. see more kids in the future, though? Um, I can see it. Yeah. I can see Once it. we're on the farm, because... I can see it. Yo, how soon till the farm? Can I come? Of course. Can I keep no, a pig like, there? Of course. You I'm have a, to come. I'm going to be honest with you. To. No disrespect. Uh -oh. oh, to the pig? I don't think. Oh yes. Don't... Oh yes. Sorry. Okay. No, it's no disrespect. <laughs> they such intelligent animals. A goat? Can I have a goat? Of course. Yeah, but pigs. We... Fair. I should have known. I should have known. I really want a pet pig, but no one's gonna let me live yeah, this I don't dream. Know why. Goat. Cool. <laughs> I mean, cool with a goat though. They, they, they. I heard they make really good pets, but it's just as far as like me being Muslim, like it's. I should have known that. That's my bad. I can't the thing about pigs is that if they're in the wild, they turn into boars. Like yes, genetically, sir. like they adapt to the environment that they're put in. So you put them in the wild, mm -hmm. a feral pig, you put a regular pig in the wild, they grow tusk, they grow hairs on it. That's yes, genetics, sir. that's crazy. Yes, I don't know if I want that around me. <laughs> that's why I like, I, I made a vow to my wife. I say, I'm never cutting my hair again. Yeah. Like never again. I'm What's never... the significance in that? That's my strength, that's my pride. That's I'm never pride. cutting it again. That's my power. I told my wife that I'm not cutting my hair again. I don't care what's socially acceptable. This, they just not gonna have to accept me. <laughs> Cause I accept me as I am. And my wife accept me as I am. Right. So I don't care who don't accept me. I don't. <laughs> you want me to say my favorite speech? If I've offended you, could you however find it in your heart to forgive me? Because I most certainly could give a fuck nah. list. <laughs> That's like Ty, I kid you not. Yeah. <laughs> That's my <God. laughs> Um, we didn't really, really get to touch on it because I think it was like just happening at that point, but um, it, it, you didn't give like a reaction to like they like banned you from all the prisons because like they said you brought in too much money or whatever when you went to visit your home. Okay. Why didn't they do a no-knock warrant at the house? Why wasn't any of the contraband confiscated if it was money? It wasn't money. You gotta confiscate it. Possession is nine tenths of the law. So, so they didn't have whatever they claim you had. They, they just they were looking no, at so the pictures. That's, that's speculation. 
Mm. You know, you around some of the most talented people in the world. They could take napkins and a paper fan and make it look like hundred dollar bills. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it could have been a fan or anything, and I ain't gonna say what it was, but it wasn't money. Ooh, ooh, uh, are you trying to like? I don't know if it's For case, what? but are you trying to? Are you trying to like um, go against them no, to sir, at least get the reverse tour? I haven't rolled. I haven't rolled with the crystal. <laughs> uh, with the crystal campaign. And I have a, a movement coming out where we do breath work with people that's incarcerated called yeah. Rehabilitation for Gangsters. Mm -hmm. And I'm still allowed in all of the prison systems. Right. Yeah, that's good. So that's just speculation. That's, that's, that's what they call it, fake news. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's, 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 the, that's, the, that's the society we live in now, like Instagram. Anything they say is law. Mm -hmm. right. Right. That's not law. Right. That's not law. Law is what go on in the jungle. That's not law. That's just you just on the Instagram. I can make up your yeah, academic, <laughs> academic about the pregnant with twins. <laughs> academic, That's academic good, just, right? academic just slapping the desk. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, shit yeah, go yeah. viral. Right. You know what I'm like? Who cares? I don't live my life for that. It's so it's crazy how easily we could be tricked. Like we're Man. supposed to be so intelligent, yeah, we could be tricked so easily. But if then when somebody tells you it's a trick, everybody thinks that you're lying. If you want right. to be tricked, right? Yeah. Right. If you want to be tricked, you could be tricked. But, nah. Uh, <laughs> High vibration, you gonna see through the bullshit. Okay, yeah. uh, are you dropping a new album this year or any new music or? <sighs> Can we? I, I, no, no, <laughs> yeah, let's get the announcement going yeah, on. Like, it's, it's good. Yo, man. It's so dope because when you ask Kevin, he can't ask, hold it. Look, like, 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 no, he looks at her. All <laughs> right, right, right. right. Just talk about her. But you know, you like, guys are making joint decisions. But every time you ask Kevin about music, because he loves it so much, you can see it on him. Right, he wear it. Every, every, every decision is a joint decision. Okay. You know, Respect let me ask that. my wife. Let me ask my wisdom. Let me ask. That's a true union. So, Drink, is he allowed to talk about this? Of course. Am I like, allowed? I love for people to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got an album about to come out okay. called Kaza. Kaza. And it's really, my son, he learns more through through music as opposed to me telling him something. Yes, mm. he does. God. So, I've been writing letters to him and, and putting it in song format and just teaching him like that. Wow. And it's just everything that I ever been through. Like, you look at me like this just monster. I'm not scared of anything. I am afraid of things. Mm. I do have fear, but I'm very brave. Mm. It's okay to be scared. It's okay. But, you, you know, you, like you say, I ain't scared of nothing. But what's happening if you're hanging off a cliff? You're going to be scared. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but how you can respond to those things is you can be brave and yeah. you can be calm. Because power never shows power. It's very gentle. It's very gentle. Well, when can we expect this project? You know, it'll be here soon when I feel like it's ready. It's First a, quarter, second quarter, come on, give it's 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 an approximate date. Just talk to, to the boss over here. It's, 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 it's in a slow cooker it's right now. Right. <laughs> here you go again. Here you go. You gotta start another one. All right. All right. Is it a slow cooker? Cut the sound and send us a shade room. We're gonna be late. Right. It's in a slow cooker. Yeah, love it. <laughs> Yeah, love it. God, I can't believe I said these things. <laughs> no, you need to. You gotta live in your truth. Yeah, that's one thing my grandmother told me. Mm -hmm. uh, she said, you cannot live in falsehood. You have to live in your truth. It, it doesn't feel like you've ever been, like, a scared of not being understood. But, like, as you said, like, some of the stuff you say, like, even on this episode, people might look at you and be like, all right, man, he was kind of here with it. Now, nah, he just went to here, like, what's up with him? You ever, you ever been but scared I'm of winning. not? I'm winning. So if I'm winning, the people that are saying that, they got time to sit at home and be on a computer judging, casting judgment on little old me. I don't care about what they're doing. I'm peaceful. I'm happy. Like, right. you can say whatever negative about me, nitty nitty. I, I could care less. Keeping the high vibrations. Okay, we're, 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 I'm vibe. I mean, you, just, just, just without me speaking, mm -hmm. just you bear witness. Mm -hmm. Could you have seen me sitting here being this individual five years ago? No, nah, definitely Never. not. I, hey, I told them before our first even conversation, I said, I'm going to warn y'all before we get into this. Kevin, a people person, he gets irritated quickly. He might cuss us out, and we might even have to <laughs> do all type of edits. Or lash, That's the type of person. Or, or become animalistic and lash out violently. Exactly. So you got to remember, like, lower even then. That's lower nature. That's primitive. I vibrate on a higher level now. Mm. I don't want to kill. I will, but I don't want to. I don't want to take life. I don't want to hurt people. And that's coming from somebody that has hurt a lot of people. 
I don't want to hurt people. I'm here to help, not humiliate. I ain't go home and sit in the trap. Oh, man, I see y'all seen I handled that old bitch ass nigga AK, huh? He talking about AK, but I was in there with that baby Draco walking his pussy ass down. I don't do all that. When I left, man, when I hugged you, it was sincere. Man. Is it moments you I do saw my, I saw myself in you. Trauma. Is it moments you wake up I'm and you're right there. <laughs> this nigga. Hey, is it moments you wake up and you're like, man, like, let me backslide almost on, on like going back, like, I had a situation in the mall. I hate to even speak about this. This was yesterday. A dude had uh had walked up to me and hugged me. Yeah. And he was just doing like a little vlog. And yeah, he, yeah. he was standing over there. He was like, yeah, man, little Boosie, man. Da -da 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 -da. I was like, shout out little Boosie, but hey, find you somebody else to play with. <laughs> I was, I I, I gave him, I, I nurtured him. Mm -hmm. I gave him feminine energy. I nurtured him. Man, yeah, what's that? And he needed a hug. Gave him a hug. <laughs> I say, I'm, I say, but I was professional with it. I say, shout out to Lil Boosie. I'm Kevin. But find you somebody to play with. Mm. Then, I, then, I, then I gave him masculine energy. Mm. Why not make you kill me right here in this store? Right now. Because the worst thing I could be to my own self is a coward. I give it, I do 100 years by my respect. 100. That's the worst thing I could be. Now, I'm not going to put myself in a situation that's going to cause me to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Risk my freedom or risk being away from my family. But a man has to be a man. You got to be a man. At all times. You got to stand on principle. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with being humble. There's nothing wrong with being meek. But you got to stand on principle. Like the things that I done did, I'm not perfect. I done did a bunch of bullshit. I done did shit that wasn't cool. Yeah. I done did a bunch of bitch ass shit. I'm a, I say, I ain't going to just tell you the good. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I done did a bunch of old bitch ass shit. I had a fight with one of my homeboys because I was pillow talking, telling the whole something. I said, well, tell him. I'm going to tell him in his face. He say something, I'm going to dive in this shit. But my grandfather told me, man, you was a hoe for that. You don't never do no shit like that. Just because you, yeah, man, speak twice. Yeah, just because you told that was some hoe shit you did. And ever since then, I've never broken up another relationship. Mm. Like if somebody come to me telling me they have a problem with what they want, man, y'all going to figure that shit out. I always encourage. Yeah. Cause it's so easy for me. I think you ought to leave. No, I think you ought to. I think y'all ought to fight it out and hang in there. If you if, if you love what you have, you have everything you need. You should fight for that. Yo, Kevin, it's nice to see you continue to evolve. We're glad that you came back. Yes, really Lord. glad that you brought Jerika with you. Yes. She, she always with me. Yeah. Well, she you bring her. Last time she was there, when we did Spelling Bee, she was there. But it's nice yeah. to have her in the conversation with balls. us. We appreciate that. Our first couple episode of Everyday Struggle. We got to do these she more is. often. She got to send some records so she yeah. can write some treatments. <laughs> hey, hey uh, the <laughs> truth of the truth, bro. <laughs> Every time, hey, listen. Like, I, I like working with writers. I got to say this. We can leave. I like working with writers because I'm like, you know, it would be cool to get in the studio with Pluto, with Future or somebody. Mm -hmm. We bounce ideas off each other. Yeah. Like, it would be cool to get in the studio with different writers. And most of the time when you meet writers, they be underdogs. They be hungry. I'm like, come on, let's get in there and work. You know, we working. But the songs that I write by myself be my biggest songs. Mm -hmm. I just oh, didn't please. believe in myself. <laughs> And that was the self-esteem issue. Was like, and then with Fatal Attraction, she was like, "Babe, you gotta do this. Yeah, you better stand on." Yeah. <laughs> I was don't, on, hey, I was don't, on a, don't get on the everybody. acting pussy. Come on, man. Cause you know, when you're an artist, you be like, "Is it good enough? Mm. Are they gonna like it?" I don't care what nobody think no more. Cause I, I operate out of the heart chakra now, mm. straight from the right. heart. Now we're excited to hear more. Cosm, you said it's called, right? Cosm. The That's the name. My my daughter named Isla, and then I dropped the album Isla, mm -hmm. and then I'm him. That was like the transitioning phase, and then I'ma drop Cosm. Okay. Like I'm ready to be. I'm ready to be chief of my tribe. Yo, mm -hmm. we're looking forward to it. Big love to Drika and Kevin Gates. Yes, Thank Lord. you for coming, man. Coming. Hope you guys right. come back again once you drop the project. Thank you. Thank for you guys me. for tuning in. This is Everyday Struggle. We'll see you guys on Monday. Yes, Lord. <laughs>